Hey Z Squad, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my crafting haul that I did on this month from Tuesday morning, Walmart, Joann's, and I think there's another store in there, but we'll find out as I unpack the bags. So I, for a long time, I have been on a spending, um, what do you call it? A no spending spree. But I've been getting some things here and there, slowly getting back into crafting, getting ready for the holiday. And so I just wanted to share with you guys what I purchased. So I'm going to start with Tuesday morning, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stores to go to. I'm in there just about every week. They know me in there. <laughs> Very familiar with me in there. So I'm going to share with you guys. Most of the things that I purchased are for um, crafting, not sewing. Um, for this week, so let's just jump right into it. First, I want to show you guys this paperback from Bow Bunny. It was two ninety nine. It is a is it six by six? Oh, and it has a little thing you can actually hang. I want to say this is six by six. Let's get the um ruler. Yeah, so it's a six by six paper pad, which was only $2.99. It is a fall base floral spice collection. And there's so many things that you can actually do with this paper pad for the upcoming fall. And I thought it was just super cute. I don't have any ideas yet what I'm going to do with it, but I thought it was super cute. So I purchased this paper pad. Then from Tuesday morning, I had this die cut, this cuddle bug die cut. And up here in the corner, it tells you what's inside. So it's a thank you, hello, love you, and a happy, not even a happy birthday. And then they give you a little example of how you can use it. It was $8.99 for these four pieces. And you can use it in your... Um, your die cut machines. Oh, they have more ideas on the back, which is super cute. And they tell you how to use it. I guess Anna Griffin is a designer of these. And it's for your Cricut, great. Sentiment dies is what they call them, $8.99. So you can use those when you're making your cards. You can put your thank yous on them. Then I purchased this Echo Park. I don't know what you want to call these. This is element stickers. Okay, so these are fall element stickers that you can use um, for any project, actually. And it has some journaling cards in there. And I hate opening stuff up because I opened up one thing and I couldn't even put it back in. So let's see how... So this one is entitled A Perfect Autumn. So this is for the fall. So we have the stickers, which is the first sheet. Let's put that back. Then we have some cut aparts here. Those are cute. You can laminate those. So you get two sheets of cut aparts. Those are the same ones. Then we have some 12 by 12 fall paper and there's two of those oh this is cute I like this this paper here that's super cute I like those colors and then two of the leaves and then a sheet with foxes oh and they're two sided oh shut so let's go back. Let me do the last one and then I'll go backwards. Those are the boxes. And then we have, I think this is sticking. Sorry if this is loud, guys. Some more cut aparts. All right, so then let's flip it. 
And then this is a solid blue on the back. Let's see if I can get it. I love this polka dot here. Polka dot, polka dot, polka dot. I love this. And then we have the wood panel on the back of the leaves. Then we have like the orangish, yellowish plaid on the back of this one. <gasps> this is cute too. I don't think they should have put all of these on the back of each other because this is going to be hard. That's going to be hard to determine which. And this is the actual. Oh, this is the actual cover. As you can see, I opened this pack already. So on the front of this Echo Park, sorry for the noise, it shows you the paper pads that are in there. So it's showing you the different ones and showing you some of the stickers here. And it tells you that it's a kit. So it tells you that it includes 12, 12 by 12 double sided and 12 by 12 elements. And it's from echopark.com. And it was only $5.99. Alright, so this next one is Fall Blessings. And again, $5.99 from Tuesday morning. And here it's showing you what is on the inside. And I'm sure I picked it up. Because I saw this camera and that reminds me just of me taking pictures and my YouTube channel. Plus, just fall in general. Fall blessings. So, I won't go through this pack since I found what is actually inside. So, I wasn't really paying attention when I opened up the other pack. I think I just saw it and I just was like, let's dig in. But they have here your cut aparts. And then this one is the stickers. Can you see? Sorry. And then that last one is the stickers. Which would be this one. And then they give you some individual letters in case if you want to word out some things. Cool. Fall blessings. Oh, apparently I got two fall blessings. Not sure why, but I did. Maybe I loved it so much I had to get it twice. All right, so this one I already opened and I couldn't get back in. So that was the meaning of me saying in the beginning, I didn't want to open them up. But I got this one, of course, naturally because it's crafting and that fits right up my alley. And unfortunately, they only had one of these at Tuesday morning. And um, this also was $5.99. But here they're showing you what is inside the pack, which this one I can actually go through because... I have it. Oh, and they also made it so that you can actually cut this one apart. So it's showing you, but I would actually probably cut that. I'd rather be crafting out. But it's showing you all the cut aparts on the backhand side that you can laminate or make a um, page protector. So on the back of this, this is like a cork board. It looks like a cork board that you can use. This paper is pretty. I love it. I want to have a little ruler down here, but these are all little measuring rollers. So I guess whatever you don't use, you can keep this part as a little paper ruler. And you get two sheets of this one. This one is cute. Let's see what's on the other side. I like this orange. That is cute. Then we have some words here. Handmade. I can totally make that. So cute. Make something pretty today. You get two of these on the back of some colorful cuts. And I would just, what they call, fussy cut around some of these things to take out the individual wording. Then we just have a sheet with some scissors and rulers, paint brushes, pencils, pens, 
Oh, that's pretty. That color is pretty. They should make a whole crafting um, book. And then you have some stickers here. It says, I love to craft, craft, eat, sleep, love, craft. So these are your stickers that come with. That's your sticker sheet. And then you have some cut aparts, and that is the back to that paper pad. Cute. So that is in the I'd Rather Be Crafting themed. Yes, I'd Rather Be Crafting themed paper pack. Paper kit. Kit. It's different from a pack. And then we have just some sticker accents. These are only $3.99. These are, um, I don't think there was like, this only has six 12 by 12 versus the other one that had 12, 12 by 12. And these are the items that are in it. And the stickers up here with a little border. Also back at Echo Park. All right, what else did I get from Tuesday morning? I bought some coffee to keep me awake while I'm doing all these crafts. I really like this coffee. And that coffee was only $3.99. Not that I'm promoting coffee. I'm not saying that it's good for you at all. Then I got this Christmas tree die cut. It is coming upon Christmas and it's different, three different sizes of the die cut. And then you have the one that says, ho, 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 for $4.99 from Momenta. And I also got that at Tuesday morning. And it says, works with most die cut cutting machines, Sizzix, Cuddlebug, and Spellbinders. So, getting ready for Christmas. Then I purchased these paper clips. They actually look, look like they have some dust. It looks like some of these moved too. But some heart paper clips. Hearts are my favorite shape. These are $2.49. And those were by American Crafts. Then I also got this embosser from Doris where you can emboss the front of your card that you're making. And you can also use that with one of your die cutting machines. And then I grabbed this D Delight in the Details book, which just gives you some examples of when you're making cards on how to embellish your cards. And there was a lot of cute things. So it doesn't really teach you or show you too much, but it just kind of gives you some ideas and just like a little bit of tips. I really love this one um, on how you can make a few things. And I think that was all I got from Tuesday morning. So everything I just showed you was Tuesday morning. Next up is the Dollar Tree. So getting ready for Christmas. I purchased these bows. I think they are super cute. And pom-poms, where I probably, I may make a TN or two, and I'll probably make some pom-pom paper clips for those. I have some, <clears throat> sorry guys, Christmas ribbon, which I thought was cute. Some more Christmas ribbon. And then I got some deco mesh. I probably will make a wreath out of the deco. They didn't have green though. They just had the red and the silver. Then I got a couple more notebooks to make some mini, some micro TNs. And that's all I got from the Dollar Tree. So that, yeah, that's it for the Dollar Tree. I only got one thing from Walmart, and that was um, these drawer handles. What are they called? They have a brass finish. Sorry about that squeaking you guys hear in the background. My son decided he wants to start walking around. Normally, he would be asleep after work. I want to try a um, 
There was a project that I saw on a Posh Paper Ladies YouTube channel where she made this cute little stationery drawer and she had handles to it. So I brought these just to see if um, how it would turn out. And these were only $6 from Walmart. Um, Michael's, which is a craft store, I only picked up the Sizzix die cut framelits as they're calling it here, which is eight oval dies. I saw a video on YouTube and I hope I saved it somewhere where she made this cute little gift bag and she used these to make the handles. And I've been looking for these die cuts for forever and I saw them in Michael's and they were $21, but I had a 50% coupon from Michael's and then I had another 20% off. So I got these really, really cheap and I'm so excited for that. Guys, never go into the craft stores without your coupons. And then lastly, I went to Joanne's where I got these letters, alphabet. Did I get something else? I did. So I got these from Joanne's because I saw a, another project that I'm going to do for my coworkers from the Posh Paper Lady. And this one has 164 pieces on both sheets. This one has... 234 pieces and then 35 pieces and these were um on sale 50% off actually so I think they were do I have the receipt I do they were $3.99 and I got them for $1.99 each from Joanne's and then I bought a little piece of fur this is for a Christmas project, actually, and the letters go with, um, that I saw on the Posh Paper Lady. I love her channel, so if you guys haven't visited her channel, make sure you visit the Posh Paper Lady um, over on YouTube. She has a lot of great tutorials using paper crafting, and so I'm going to use that for um, Christmas projects for my coworkers. And I think that is it. Is that all I got for October? Oh, I did get um, just some other, I want to say I got these from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Just some ribbon. And I got, oh. Now, these weren't from the Dollar Tree. I actually bought these from the hair store. But you know how you make your um, traveler's notebooks? I got these colors for the fall and for Christmas. I had some red already somewhere around, and these were only $1.99. You can also, you know, purchase these on Amazon, but since I saw these in the hair store and they were a quick grab, she actually gave me this pack for free because I bought some other stuff to go along with. So I got that one for free, but it's $1.99. And I just used it the same way I buy my other ones from um, Amazon. All right, so now that is all the stuff that I purchased from my October crafting haul. <sighs> Seems like a lot, but I use coupons outside of the Dollar Tree, which you can actually use coupons at the Dollar Tree, but not for anything that I purchased. Um, but that is it, guys, for October. So now I'm ready to get started on my Thanksgiving, fall, and Christmas decoration and projects so make sure you guys click that subscription box that button down below the red button so that says subscribe make sure you follow me on all social media instagram as well as facebook and you'll be able to see what i create with all of these beautiful items until next time see ya peace and blessings wait a second guys i forgot one more thing as i was cleaning up i did go to ac more and i picked up these two packets of gift tags. I got one with a coupon um, as well. This is the top of it. There's 50 gift tags. And this is also a part of a project um, that I'm doing with the fur and the letters from a video from Posh Paper Lady. And these gift tags are, I think there are three different ones and I only grabbed two because I'm only making them for some of my coworkers. And it's not a lot. And then I got some individual Christmas paper. And they had these on sale actually for 40% off, I think, at AC Moore. 
I only grabbed one of these. Oh, no, I didn't. I grabbed two. All right. So that is the back of this one. And this one, that is the back of that one. And then the red is just all red. Yeah, all red. So, all right. Now I'm really, really done. Completely done. That's it. Peace. Thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.